welcome back to my YouTube channel and today I will be doing a video where I try out two makeup brands, both very affordable, so I'll be trying out e.l.f. and Makeup Revolution as well. Please hit the thumbs up and subscribe and even comment to support me and my channel. And if you like this makeup look, continue on watching and let's get on with the video. Okay, so I've actually got two primers. I've got one from e.l.f. and I've got one from Makeup Revolution. So I've got the Poreless Primer from e.l.f. and I've also got the Revolution Pro Prime and Hydrate Base. So what I'm going to do is put the e.l.f. on that side and the Revolution on that side and see if there's any difference between them. So that's what the e.l.f. one looks like. It feels quite smooth to apply it on, it feels quite nice. It's almost like a powder but not quite, if that makes sense. And then the Revolution on the other hand. Just put two pumps, should be enough. There's like a white kind of colour. Ooh, smells of coconut. Feels really nice and feels really hydrating. Oh, actually got quite a bit more left so I'll just apply a little bit extra so in terms of primer that feels a lot more soft I mean they both look a bit glowy if you look I don't know if that's maybe just my light this one feels a lot more hydrating than the other but it's from my pores so I just to reduce them so maybe that's why and I have applied a little bit more of the revolution on this side than the other one so now I will go on to foundation and I've got the e.l.f. Flawless Satin Foundation in shade Vanilla. I'm not sure if it's going to match me quite well because I bought these online. And I don't know how much you need. So I'm trying not to put too much in case it goes a bit KK. But like I'm probably the map. Okay, colour is not bad. You can't really see any of my redness with this foundation, which I like. And I know it says a medium coverage, but for me, it looks quite full. Now I'm going to go on with their Revolution Pro Full Coverage Camouflage Concealer. That's what they look like and I've got two shades. So I've got C1 which is the lighter one for my under eyes and C6 which I'll be putting on my spots. Just try not to put too much in case it like cakes up a bit. I'll put this one directly onto my spots and hopefully the right shade. I tend to get quite a few spots in my chin. I don't know why because it's not the time of the month or anything, I just tend to get them there. So I'm going to try with the blender and see how that works. I don't really use brushes for like foundations or anything, I like my blenders. I just find it's a lot faster. Okay, so it looks alright. It blends in quite nicely, it's not cakey or anything, which I like. The shades are alright. I could have possibly gone for a little bit darker for the ones that are supposed to cover my spots. I will say one thing, my face looks really shiny, so I definitely need to powder. Which is fine because I bought two powders anyway. So now I'm just going to set my face before I move on to my eyes. So for under eyes, I'm using the Revolutions Translucent Powder. It's from their new collection. 
and it's just like that. I mean, that's the shine kind of gone from my under eyes, so that's fine. I'm using the e.l.f. Sheer Tint Finishing Powder for the rest of my face. So this is light to medium. It does look a little bit dark, but hopefully it'll be fine and just make me look a little bit more tan. So now I'll just go into my eyes and I'm going to be using the Revolution Reloaded Marvelous Mattes. As you can see it's all quite bright colours which I really like but they've also got like the lighter colours which are really nice. So I'm just going to be focusing on the yellows and orange for today's look. I just thought I'd do a bit of a summer kind of look. So I'll start off with that yellow in the middle and I'm just going to put that all over my lids. Quite nice yellow and it seems to be quite pigmented as well which I like and this powder was only £5 and I've definitely bought more expensive ones and they've not been as pigmented as I'm finding this one to be so definitely a good buy. I don't normally go for such bright colours but I thought why not especially now that we're coming into summer not that you'd think it in Scotland it's really cold and rainy Next, I'm gonna go with a slightly darker yellow. It's almost like a mustard color. I'm gonna get quite a bit of that and just focus it on the top. Next, I'll be going with the orangey color. And that's basically all I'm gonna do for eyeshadow. I don't want to put too much on because I think these three colours together look really nice. And I don't want to make it too complicated either. So next I am going to go in with the Revolution Wispy Lash Feather Effect Mascara. As you can see there is a difference, they're a lot more separated on this side and the got a bit more length to them again this mascara was not expensive whatsoever I will be leaving down below everything that I am using and the wand is quite big so I don't think I'm gonna put any of my bottom lashes next I'm gonna go in with the elf forever sun kissed um, bronzer Next I'm gonna go in with the revolutions blusher in color peaches and cream So it looks like that's a really nice light pink. I Love putting blusher on I put on quite a bit And I don't know if you can actually see that on the camera, but in my mirror, it's very pigmented and it's such a nice colour. And I just tried to blend that in with the bronzer that I put in. I put some over my nose. Then for highlighter, I didn't actually buy any new highlighters because I already had this which I got my advent calendar last year for Christmas but this is an eyeshadow but I use it as a highlighter just because it's a sparkly kind of colour so it looks like that and you can see you can definitely use that for highlighting so I'll take a little brush put it on my cheekbones as you can see 
that's really nice. So I'm just going to go off camera and quickly do my eyebrows and put some lashes on. So what I use for my brows is the Revolutions Brow Pomade in Dark Brown, just looks like that. And the eyelashes I'll be using is ELF's Dramatic Lash Kit, and that's what they look like. So I'll be back in two seconds. So I just wanted to show you guys, I just opened the lash kit and I took the glue out. It's all dried. There's nothing in the bottle. That is great. I've applied one of the lashes and they're not the best. They literally fall apart so easily so you have to be really careful with them. But I honestly don't see that much of a difference between that eye and that eye. And I've got the lash on this eye. But I will put the other one on just to complete the look and continue on finishing my makeup. Okay, so that's the eyelashes applied. They're definitely not the best and I don't know if I even like them on. But I will just keep them on because I want to finish this makeup look. Um, so next I'm going to go in with lipstick. I didn't buy any lipstick from either of the brands so to stick it with the cheap end of this video I'm just going to go with the PS Liquid Lipstick from Primark and you get like four of them I think for like four pound. It's definitely a nudey pink kind of colour, but you know what, I actually quite like it. It doesn't take it away from the eyes, however it is a little bit light so I could have gone for something a little bit darker just to make the makeup look, look a little bit nicer, but that will just have to do. And to be honest, it's not even that bad I don't think. So the last thing that I will be using is the Revolution XX Face Fix. And again, it's such a lovely packaging, just like the translucent powder I used under my eyes. I also had the e.l.f. waterproof gel eyeliner, but I'm not going to use it because it's a brown and it's just something it would go with a makeup look. So I'll just shake this a little bit and hopefully it'll be quite a nice mist. Let's see. Ooh, it's quite a nice mist. And it smells a bit like coconuts again, so I'll just close my eyes and... It definitely is quite a light mist, but it's really nice. I really like this. And this was £10, I think. Again, everything will be in the description below, so you guys can definitely check everything out. So that's the end of the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I definitely enjoyed trying all these makeup products. I basically liked all of them. Maybe not so much the... Um, what's it called? The eyelashes they i probably would not repurchase they do go on quite easily but i don't think they look that nice and you probably have noticed that my lip color is a little bit different from the video earlier on i did change color just because i wasn't quite happy with the end look so the one i used was the matte me ultra smooth matte lip cream and i think it's by sleek it doesn't actually say but i'm pretty sure it's from sleek makeup again it is quite affordable but not quite as affordable as the primark one that i tried but i quite like this color a lot better than the lighter nude so yeah i hope you guys enjoy this remember to hit the thumbs up comment and subscribe and just follow me and my journey i post every sunday and wednesday at 5 p.m so i'll see you guys again on wednesday bye so i thought i would just show you what my table also looks like at the end of this film it looks horrendous so that's what my table looks like with all the package in there and the box it all came in oh my goodness my precious and my lighting.